groups. What's up? So, <laughs> I missed the first part of Rogan. Okay, I am stating this as a fact. For everybody that watches my videos, I will never get to see the first half of Raw, okay? The first 15 to 20 to 30 minutes of Raw, I will never get to see it because the universe hates me and they just really don't want me to see it. So, never expect me to talk about whatever happened in the first 30 minutes of the show because I didn't see it. So, of course, because, you know, the most exciting stuff happened last week, I missed Raw and I missed Elimination Chamber. What's wrong with me? I know. But luckily, I was able to get caught up thanks to In The Rope Show's review. I watched it. It was awesome. They were drunk. So, yeah, you guys should totally go check out in the rope show by the way they do amazing reviews i will put the link right there so when i started watching kevin owens and john cena in the ring having this intense match of ice hex and i'm just like what did i miss and apparently he just had a match that he won clearly and i guess john cena was on commentary or watching the match or some that's the i'm just guessing i literally have no idea what happened i just want to point out that dean ambrose is giving me serious steampunk punk feels right now with the whole oh my god i'm taking the title like dean you know how to feed a girl's fangirl feels I mean, no sense. We don't make sense here on my channel. We make dollars. Oh, yeah. We got this feud brewing up between Nikki Bella and Paige. Talk, talk, talk is all I'm saying. I want to see some walk, 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 stomp, fly, crush, slap. Woo! Summer Rae versus Nikki Bella. First of all, I just want to say that I was totally shocked because it was like, oh my god, you're not going to do the same old Naomi and Tamina versus the Bella twins. What? I haven't even seen Summer Rae. This is my first time seeing her match, and I have to admit that it was a very bad first experience. People said they like her, but I don't see why because, you know, the match was this long. So, um, yeah, whatever. Nikki Bella won with a rag attack. Roman Reigns, who has had a really tough week. Like, oh, do you want a massage? Because I will, I will give you a massage any week, even if it's not a tough week. If you have the best week, I will give you a massage, okay? I will. A lot of massages. Anyway. Comes out and he cuts a promo about Money in the Bank briefcase is hanging above them. He's like, I'm gonna win. I just want to let you guys know that Money in the Bank is my all-time favorite pay-per-view. Um, I love it. It's just it's exciting. I love ladders. Ladders are my favorite thing. I've actually gone one year and it was with the, it was freaking CM Punk versus Daniel Bryan when they were doing the whole bullcrap AJ Lee thing. There's actually a picture. There's a picture of me, CM Punk, and AJ Lee. And I'll show you. I want to see it. Yeah. My sign said, hey punk, I'm kind of crazy or I'm crazy or something like that because you know he was like, I did crazy tricks. So I was like, hey, I'm crazy. Yeah, you dig me? Notice me, you fucker. <laughs> we made eye contact. But seriously, what's up with having like a pay-per-view every week? What the fuck is this? This, is, this isn't normal. It takes away the excitement because it's like, oh, it's just, you know, a pay-per-view again. We had one last week. And then Kane, my big red monster, he comes out and he tells Roman that he's the least likely to win because Kane's going to be in the match and he's not going to let him win because Kane's going to win and the title is going to stay with the authority and he's going to be the future of the WWE because Seth Rollins is, he's having a really tough time you guys, come on, give him a break, you know he's been through a lot. Roman invites him to the ring to show him how he breaks jaws and seriously, okay you guys, I don't know what it is about Roman Reigns but he is so hot, I want to touch his muscles. And then Ziggler who really has no place to come out in this whole feud thing going on. You're not gonna win Kane, I'm gonna win because I won one time in my life for blah 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 and I held it for a year and shit. And then R-Truth who I forgot existed, I'm sorry. He comes out and he's like, yo, I'm gonna win. And then Kane's just like, what the heck? Dude. And then he's like had the saddest puppy eyes and I will admit that it was funny So everyone comes out and it's like everybody is just getting on Kane's nerves today It's like Kane come I, I got you. Okay deep breaths Kane We are a mountain. Namaste Kane Namaste. I don't want to hear that from you. You are a strong warrior So Kane, how are you feeling? I told you. Then we get this match between Randy Orton and Sheamus, and I'm not gonna lie, I think I actually fell asleep watching this because I don't remember any of it. These two bore me so much. So after the match, Randy goes all crazy, blah, 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 beats him up. Hey, Randy, remember when people used to like you? <laughs> oh, me either. <laughs> no, just kidding, but back when you were all psycho motherfucker, you know, the psycho one that was like attacking Stephanie McMahon and Triple H, and, and everybody just wanted to kill you. Yeah, I liked that Randy. But this Randy's boring me, so. So then we get this backstage segment with Seth Rollins and his little troll bodyguards, J and J. It was a nice giggle worth segment between them all, and it ended up that Seth Rollins was like, you know what? I'm gonna be in a mother freaking handicap match versus both of you, and I'm gonna beat you both. And they're just like, crap, what did we get ourselves into? You know what Seth Rollins is? I will show you what Seth Rollins is. Just a little bit of Jeff Hardy, a little bit of CM Punk, and a dab of oh, sexy. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
that's pretty much it, yeah. Kane versus Dolph Ziggler. Of course, Lana comes out with Dolph. She's standing there with her perfect legs and stuff. And then Rusev comes out and he's with crutches. I missed whatever happened to him, but I hope it hurt because I don't like him. He's, you know, bullying her and Dolph gets all distracted and she ends up falling and her hurting herself. Dolph loses because of the distraction. Anyway, so they, they make a big deal out of the whole, oh, she hurt her leg. She twisted her ankle. She'll be okay. So then we get the Miz TV and the Miz, who I thought was a woman at first because he had this thing on his face. He'd be a really hot woman. So we have Miz TV with Ryback and Big Show because apparently the Big Show returned last week and Miz was all pissed off. And I just want to say that I am so happy Miz is a hill again. He's not a baby face because seriously, I love the Miz when he's an asshole, okay? I also, um, um, Ryback is a champion. <laughs> what is happening to wrestling, you guys? What? Ryback is a champion. So the Ryback says there and you know he's insulting the Miz, blah blah blah. And the Miz has the greatest response. Just you're ugly. It made me happy. So then we have these two big guys in each other's faces, like I will beat you, I'm not afraid of you. Big show gets shell shocked by Ryback, and the Miz was my highlight of that. We have Kane making fun of Seth backstage, and then telling him he's gonna walk down the aisle with him. That is so sweet. Aw. And informs Seth that he's going to be in the corner of JJ. And Seth continues to look sexy AF while he's angry. <laughs> Biggie versus Titus O'Neil. Another distraction which caused the win of this match. Biggie wins and then Roman Reigns come out and he has a match with Kofi Kingston. And I don't understand why people hate Roman Reigns. Honestly, I don't get it. People are even comparing him to John Cena. Just stop. But anyways, they have a match that was really good. A lot of like Kofi Kingston flying all over the place. He's that person, is in a match to make it good, but he's not quite good enough to win because nobody wants to see him like a champion. So he's never gonna get anywhere. But they have a really long match, a lot of two counts. Roman wins with a botched punch to Kofi as he was flying and he didn't even hit him. And then Roman goes and he grabs a chair, you know, we're thinking, oh, he's gonna beat him up with a chair or he's gonna sit and join commentary or something. Dean Ambrose! Ah! that has been all around New Orleans taking pictures and they've been showing him all night raw, blah, blah, blah. He's got popcorn and soda and he's just ready to enjoy himself. So then we have the main event between Seth Rollins and J&J, &J, handicap match. Kane's also there. And of course we got Dean in the crowd who's just aggravating the crap out of Seth throughout the entire match, which is hilarious. Like these two guys are just absolutely amazing. Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. Dean is such a deviant asshole too. I love it. So Dean finally interferes when Seth is about to pedigree Jamie. He throws the belt into the ring and Seth's like, that's mine. And he is stupid and he doesn't pedigree him. Instead he goes and he gets the belt and then of course he gets attacked and he loses. He doesn't care because he's like, I got my belt, I got my baby. Oh. He's stupid because he's has his back turned to Dean and he's watching the other ones and it's like, turn around, just turn around. Every now and then you're gonna get beat up because Dean Ambrose is back. I'm done with that. Dirty Deeds! I thought it was Dirty D. Dean takes the title back and Raw ends with him standing tall on the ladder, leading up to Money in the Bank, and it's just really exciting. It was a really, really good and really entertaining episode of Monday Night Raw, in my opinion. So let me know what you guys think down there in the comments. I decided that after every episode of Raw that I watch, I'm gonna go on to Omegle. So if you guys wanna be in my videos, if this works out, I don't know. Um, um, you can go to Omegle video chat. I'll put the tags down there so you can copy it and stuff. And then, yeah, you can give your opinions and be a part of this awesome video show that I do. This is gonna be an experiment. All my links will be in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget, elegance is key. Mwah. Don't be a peasant.